And welcome back to the Heart of Chaos. I am Avier once again. Inside of this cabinet is five rupees. Every time you relaunch the game, this cabinet will contain another five rupees. You have an infinite supply of five rupees. If you want to exploit that, be my guest. At any rate, we had a spirit that invaded our dreams and our realities because we have to go chase after this spirit to then see where it will lead us. All right. So, what I'm going to explain here is a key component to this game. There are no day and night cycles. Instead, there are day and night periods that you trigger manually. By sleeping in a bed, you can either wake up at night or um, explore during the day. This isn't available to us just at this moment, but as you can see, it is clearly not daytime here in Skyloft. And the, and the Skyloft is a dangerous and different place at night. Follow in this girl. At night. Anyway, what you're gonna want to do is continuously follow her, but there is one little sidetrack you'll want to make if you're going to continuously get, um, well, certain aspects of the game. I do not remember if there's a specific amount of rupees you're gonna want to have. I do not believe that it's important just yet. Now, um, if you jump down here, is it? No, no, no. I'm just being preemptively prepared for the best things ever. Now, we're going to want to jump down here. Oh my god, it's the adorable lever cat thing! Yay! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why does it have claws? Wait a minute. Oh my god, he didn't feed me! Uh! He didn't feed me! Uh! He didn't do it. He said he was going to feed her, and he didn't. Oh god. Well, anyway, we're gonna come down here. There's a giant slime. The bigger the slime is, the more slight, the more you'll have to hit it. Which you, when you hit it, it multiplies into smaller slimes. That's the smallest size. You want to hit them at an angle so that they actually split in correct directions. If you just hit them horizontally or vertically, they're just gonna jump in the air and mold back together. Anyway, this is the last set of 20 rupees you're gonna be able to get while you are exploring Skyloft in the prologue. So instead, why don't we follow f using our acrobatic skills that we... Did I just say her name? Well, I censored it, so I didn't say the spirit's name. <laughs> oh, God. You, as you can see, I've played this game countless times, so I kind of know it in and out. Um, inside and out in the back of my head. So if I accidentally spoil things and sometimes I don't edit it out... I do hope you can forgive that small detail, and I will try my best to make sure I don't, like, ruin aspects of the game because of this. Alright, let's continue to jump forward. Uh, one little neat feature that's, well, not necessarily a feature, is more that you can, you can climb ledges while sprinting, um, with your sword out. Uh, you just have to tap A instead of holding it down when you're on it next to a cliff, and you'll and you'll sprint up with your sword out. Just a small little animation thing that I always tend to notice. I thought thought it was a little cool. Not anything relevant to the game, however. So let's follow the spirit back here. She'll lead us to the base of the statue. I wonder. Whoa! Hey! Hey! Look, I know you could go through doors, but that's a, that's a solid wall. Or not. Maybe it's an illusion. My bad. Yes, we get it. It's at the base of the statue. Alright, so we're going to go inside. Oh my god, this game is so pretty. So inside here, we're inside the statue of the goddess. Again, we don't know the name of the goddess. And this really clearly demonstrates the watercolor technique. As you can see, from a distance, the colors are f the colors kind of blend in together. The textures don't are all wavy like. This demonstrates what Skyward Sword's art style is. The art style is based around watercolor. It'll be much more prevalent later on in brighter color schemes, but for now, let's just let's just go forward and see what the spirit has to say. Sunday, 
I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. This is Fee. Fee is the guardian of this game. Uh, previous 3D Zelda titles have had Navi in Ocarina of Time, Tattle in Majora's Mask, um, your... Well, you had a stone in Wind Waker that could be guided by a few different people. Uh, Twilight Princess had Midna, so Skyward Sword has Fee. As you can see, she tends to speak in a very robotic tone. Moreover, akin to, well, she kind of lacks humanity. She speaks in probability and chances rather than actually straightforward thinking and hopeful wishes. There's a reason Fee wants Link to accept the sword. As you can see, well, Fee appears to be very much floating around the blade. In the name of the, my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Oh, hey, look, the title, Sword Skyward, or Sky, Skyward Sword. Anyway, this is going to be another bit of the Wii's uh, motion. Go ahead and turn the Wii Remote upside down, hold down A, stick the sword out. Very immersive, very immersive. And then go ahead and raise it skyward, holding it directly up will allow the sword to gain strength. This will be used a lot later on, and it's a very useful tactic. You got the goddess sword. The mysterious sword is bathed in a divine light. Now, in hero mode, the sword would quickly, very quickly, gain its skyward strike. Way to make it a little easier while the game got a lot harder. It would also tell you that the memories of battle from the sword flow into your mind. The Skyward Strike is readily available. It's just one way of showing that you've beaten the game once and the game is being redone. It's just a little subtle thing. Different lines of dialogue change based on hero mode. I don't know if I'll be showing them off, but maybe it's an incentive for you to play the game yourself. I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left in our people was left to our people by the goddess herself. As you can see, we have no memory of our ancestors and how they came to be here in Skyloft. This is something I will definitely go over, but nowhere near now. As it contains very high amount of spoilers for the la latter half of this game. It started days ago, the sword that I've kept secret all these years. It began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. How did you get in here? Wasn't it sealed off? At first I was sure I was seeing things here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed of the prophecy of the legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade. Fee needed Link to take the blade because Fee cannot progress and move on her own. Fee is the blade. Ah yes, the oral tradition, one of the most one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over generations. No way! No, she didn't. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land, such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. 
and united with the spirit mating shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. As we know before, Zelda had mentioned the, mentioned the surface world, saying that it was a barren wasteland down there, based on the old texts. However, it's not barren. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. This is why the sky this is why the loft wings won't actually pierce the, sky, the cloud barrier. They the, the loft wings are quite smart. They know that they're not supposed to. In fact, it's my theory that the loft wings are actually one of the the, the only ones that are truly connected to the goddess. They have memory and a task to keep the people safe. We got the emerald tablets. The mas master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that are charged with... Yes, I already told you. This is how you charge up the blade and everything works out in your favor. I demonstrate this more when we're actually in combat, when it comes to combat. But for now, let's do what she said and hit this crest with a skyward strike. <coughs> Now, what this was reminiscent of is when you had full health in the top-down Zelda titles while holding the ma while holding the Master Sword, and in the original, just from having full hearts, you shot a sword beam. That's where this idea came from. This is the first 3D iteration that had this concept fully used throughout the game. Link, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what this fee says is true, Zelda is alive! Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Link, especially down there. But if you've decided to brave unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we seem here today defies explanation, but it, is the only, but it is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legends true. Okay! I will do it. You do your people proud, Link. If only I had more to say. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Link, and those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform in you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You'd better change before you go. <laughs> Do you want to save your progress? Yes. So ends the major part of the prologue. There's still a bit more we're going to have to do in terms of exploring Skyloft, but now we can do it in fancy new clothes, similar to all of the Zelda titles, and I really like the design. Oh my god, do I really like the design. 
That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as if you were- it's as- Blah. It's as though you were born to wear it. Why can't I speak? I can never speak. Take care on your journey, and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You are always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. So we now have the full ability to explore Skyloft as we need to. And he will stand on our room awkwardly in his weird ass sandals. You need to get better sandals, man. Anyway, in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we will exit through that door and try and save Zelda from the world below after exploring more of Skyloft and seeing what we can do to help out. I've been Avi of Chaotic Reunion and I shall see you all next time.